All right, so bear with me. I'm going to have to do dishes here. I'm doing this whole uh, Mr. Mom homeschool thing. You, you may have a, a kid roll up and, and have a bloody nose in the video. You may have a kid that needs help with their computer program. All right, who knows what could go on, okay? But I'm, I'm having to uh, wear a lot of hats right now, and uh, I wanted to uh, share some information too. So, uh, it, it looks like the, the media is about to award this thing to Biden. And uh, as we all know, those of us who are grounded in reality, or at least close enough to it to be able to um, gauge things pretty accurately, we know the media is all in on this. They, they, I, I've been telling people this for years. The media is just being used to run a huge psychological operation on, on the American people. Okay, they, They've been studying mind control and things like that um, since Nazi Germany. Uh, probably even before that, um, when it comes to using our avenues of entertainment to distort people's perceptions of reality. So what they're doing is they're getting all of the people in the cities set up. They're, they are setting them up so that they will um, just riot and go crazy when um, the Trump administration announces that they have, um, they have proof of voter fraud. These people are not going to believe it, okay? And with the proof of the voter fraud, uh, there's no way that the legislatures in these states that are in question are going to go along with uh, a Biden presidency because in all of the swing states, all these states that we have in question here, um, uh, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, I believe Wisconsin and Michigan, the majority for those state legislatures are Republicans. And those state legislatures are the ones that are going to be awarding the electoral votes from their state. Okay, uh, I shared a video uh, last night from uh, Band Dot Video. I think it was like um, 79 days or something like that. It was Election Center uh, leading up to the election. It's all info, that's all Infowars stuff that they've had to create different URLs to get around uh, the censorship because as a lot of you know, big tech is, is in, it aligned in all of this too. Okay, And what's crazy to me is that people uh, want to trust the media when we, we know the media is corrupt, but, but the other side doesn't know the media is corrupt. They think that Trump is corrupt. They think Trump created all this corruption and all these problems just so that he could get to become the president for, for what? I, I guess they thought he was going to enrich himself even more and that he's hiding money and this and that and whatever. Look, they are guilty of what they accuse their opposition of. And that's been one of their tactics for a long time. It's, it's part of the book Rules for Radicals. It was written by Saul Alinsky. So anyway, these people don't follow by the same playbook as we did. Okay? They follow a playbook of out of chaos will come order. They believe they have to tear it all down in order to build it back up the way that they want it. So what's happening right now uh, is the Trump administration, has they have caught them in blatant voter fraud. Uh, Dr. Steve Pachinik was on uh, with Owen Schroyer yesterday and laid it all out. He couldn't say much going into it, but now we're at a point, and he and he let it be known, like, hey, these this is about to happen. These people are about to answer for what they've done. It's it's all being put uh, in motion as we speak to be able to save our country and save the election. Good job, dude. My kid just came in, showed me he got a hundred percent on one of his tests online. So I had to had to tell him he did a good job. Anyway. Um, this is this is a massive thing. It's going to really disrupt a whole bunch of people's perception of reality. I really hope that the people in the cities can keep it together. Uh, if you're a good person in the city and you don't want any part of that, uh, you probably might want to get out of town just for like a little weekend vacation. Okay, those of us in the red states, hey, calm down, woosah, all right. 
it's going to be okay. We have a long road ahead of us, and there's going to have to be a lot of work to um, mend what is is obviously a broken situation. But in these times, there. It, there's enough good people that are praying to God and believe in the power of prayer and that that positive spiritual energy that God has given us a reprieve. But folks, we can't just sit back like we did the last four years and think because we got Trump in there that that's going to be good enough. We're going to have to invest into educating people about the the foundation of reality that God has provided. We're going to have to make arguments um, for why we stand for the truth. I mean, folks, there's people out there that think that gender is something that you choose, but your sexual preference is not, okay? Those are the same people that thought Joe Biden would be a good president, okay? These are the same people that think that it's possible to simultaneously represent equality, diversity, and unity. Folks, those three things can't be all represented at the same time, okay? Now, if we do it right and everybody has equal access to God and everybody has uh, an equal opportunity to make something of themselves, okay? Not that everybody's going to have an equal outcome, not that everybody's going to start from the same place, it's just that in this land, you have an equal opportunity to make something of yourself based on the fact that um, there's certain standards that you follow, and if you follow those standards, things are going to be good for you. We all have equal access to God. Um, but we're not all going to be able to reach stuff on the top shelf, okay? There's there's things I can't reach up and grab, okay? There's things that I can bend down and get to easier than somebody that's taller. It's just, it is what it is. We are not really equal. The only way equality is really truly possible is that we all have equal access to God. And to try to make everybody equal means that you're going to have to take away from people things that, that they... You know, we're not taking LeBron James' six foot nine away. We're not cutting his legs down and making him an average height person. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, there are certain things that are just going to be certain ways. It is what it is. If you try to make everybody equal, then you're going to, you have to do away with diversity. You can't have equality and diversity in the worldly sense of those, of those words. Okay, and so going forward from this point on, um, it, it, it's not going to be easy. And you can't sit back and do nothing because eventually these people are going to persist to the point where they taint the well and enough people drink the Kool-Aid. There's not going to be an opportunity to keep them from shoving their agenda down our throat. And what their agenda is, they just want to get control over the system so that they can set the stage to be what they want it to be. And their vision of the world, I promise you, they've written about it. It is not the same as our vision of the world where we have peace and harmony and the freedom to do as we please. These people, if if you're not familiar with Agenda 2030, the United Nations Plan for Sustainable Development, they believe there are too many people on the planet. Okay? They want to reduce the global population. Okay? Okay? That is called genocide, okay? That's what they have planned. It's a slow rolling deal, passive aggressive to a point and then lightning speed aggression to be able to accomplish what they want. It's smoke and mirrors, guys, and they've all laid it out there. I mean, Joe Biden told you it was a battle for the soul of the nation and then the year divided by 666, which is equated with with evil. I mean, it's a widely known thing. Ends up being his exact official campaign text message in line, 30330. Come on now. They've laid it out there. They've told you. They're laughing in your face because you're thinking that gender is a choice and that sexual preference isn't a choice and you think that it's possible to simultaneously represent equality, diversity, and unity. They're playing you, people. And so I ask people, I actually, I strongly encourage you, go and take a look at the fact that our date is set on Christ's birth and look at those principles, okay? To love your neighbor as you love yourself, to not bear false witness, to, to despise hands that shed innocent blood, Okay, those those fundamental things that God has told us to live by, where we're not jealous of other people, those are what those are what hold society together and helps us to be able to have a foundation where we're willing to work together. Okay, because if that's not your foundation, 
you'll do whatever you got to do to get ahead. Okay, the ends will always justify the means if you're not rooted on the foundation of reality that God has provided. Okay, so those of you who are freaked out and stressing about, oh my God, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to be, that's not going to happen. Now, if we don't do anything in the next four years to really shift people's way of thinking, then eventually we're going to lose this. And it's not going to be a good deal. But this time, calm down. Trust the process. Good people are in place. They have, they, they, they've ran an operation and they've, they've caught these people engaging in voter fraud. It's going to work itself out. The media is just trying to manipulate people's perception of reality. They're setting up the people that are in the high concentrations of population um, to lose their mind because they know that they don't have the votes. So out of order, out of chaos will come order. That's what they believe. So they're ready to burn the whole thing down in the cities, which will flood people out into the other parts of the country. It's going to create chaos. Trump's going to have chaos on his hands. He's trying to figure out how to break the news to these people and how to navigate these unprecedented waters. I mean, look what they've done. They pulled the COVID hoax. They used the media to be able to run that. They tried Russia. They've tried anything and everything to stop this populist president for representing the people. So the majority of the people, the good people of this country, okay, it's it's pretty much us against big tech, the heads of major corporations, the established government, um, and, and and a whole and, and a group of globalists that have overthrown government systems all over the world. Okay, so just pray, calm down, turn your TV off, um, go for a walk. Do some, do some things that, that are, are beneficial to you from a health standpoint and then maybe turn the news back on. And if it, you feel that anxiety building up, you can turn it back off. Go pray. Calm down. It's going to be okay. It's going to work itself out. But we, we've, got, we've got some things ahead that are going to be more stressful than just stressing about if Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to be our president. That's not going to be the case. But uh, holding our country together... And, and and dealing with what's about to happen, uh, it, it's, it's going to be quite the journey, but uh, it's going to work itself out. Have a good one.